Hi, I'm Carl Herzog, public historian for the USS Constitution Museum. And today I have with me Nathan Adams' permutation trumpet. Now, a trumpet might not seem like the kind of typical nautical piece of gear that you'd find on board a Navy ship in the 1800s, but throughout most of the mid-1800s, it did become quite commonplace because Navy ships like USS Constitution were in fact carrying entire musical bands with them. While serving on squadron duty all around the world, the ships really needed musical bands not only to provide some entertainment for the crew, but also to provide music in a wide variety of diplomatic and other sort of ceremonial functions that they were performing at different ports of call and underway while they were serving on squadron duty in places like the Mediterranean, South America, the Caribbean, all over the place. Now, Nathan Adams' permutation trumpet is particularly significant because it in fact represents the first valve trumpet made in America. Nathan Adams was a musical instrument designer and creator who began his work in New York, but from 1824 to 1828, he served as a member of the crew on USS Constitution. Adams was listed as serving as a corporal on board USS Constitution, but the evidence is quite clear that he had been brought on as a band master, suggesting that he actually could play the trumpet and other musical instruments that he was designing and repairing himself. And after he got off Constitution in Boston in 1828, Adams moved to Lowell, Massachusetts, where he continued to design and manufacture musical instruments. He also got involved in the design and manufacture and repair of a lot of other very precise instruments, including early daguerreotype cameras, as well as marine chronometers. Now, we believe that he designed this trumpet, which definitely looks very different than today's trumpets, somewhere around 1825. It's pretty sure that he didn't actually construct this trumpet while he was serving on board USS Constitution, but it certainly was created around that time, either before or after he got off the ship, and certainly he was likely thinking about the design while he was serving on Constitution. Adams only made two of these trumpets, and this is the only one believed to still be in existence. Adams died in 1864, and his legacy as a musician aboard USS Constitution lives on today in the Constitution Museum.